Hey my boobs, welcome back. Welcome back to my channel here at Customized Juice Cost Effective Crafting. I am Miss Juicy. If you didn't know, now you know. Um, in this episode, it'll be episode seven. We are going to be talking about text. Let's talk text. So in this episode, I will show you how to utilize your text tab, how to um, change the font, the sizing, uh, the you know the line spacing in your text how to change how to upload a different font and use it and how to use a font from Cr cricut design space so if you ready to learn how to use your text tab go on and watch the video and get back with me if you find anything helpful in that video please like share and comment and subscribe to my channel so i can grow so i can bring you more contact on the things you need to know but Without further ado, let's get into this video. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Whenever this video is reaching you, I hope it's reaching you in good health. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Customized Juice Cost Effective Crafting with Miss Juicy. I am Miss Juicy. If you don't know, now you know. In today, episode seven, we are going to talk about text. Let's talk about text, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Psych. <laughs> I'm just playing with y'all. But today, we are going to talk text. Now, what I mean by text is I will show you how to use your text tab in Cricut Design Space, how to... Um, group it together, how to attach it, change the font, um, make it bigger or smaller, change the color. So let's get into it. Here on Cricut Design Space, when you open up, of course, you will be on a blank canvas. Our first step today is we're going to hit our text tab. All right, your text tab will uh, pull up, and here is where you write your image names, titles, whatever you are wanting um, your text to be, you would write it here. So today, we are going to use Customized Juice. As our text. So, once you click off this box, you will no longer be able to type inside of it. So, I'm going to click off. But let's say you wanted to add something or take something away. All you have to do is double click on your, your text. And it will pull your text box up where you can add and delete anything that you want to add to your text. So here, when you look over here to the side on your right hand panel, it will tell you your, uh, your font that you're using and it'll say basic cut. So our first thing that we're going to do is we're going to change the font. Now, with Cricut Design Space, if you have the um, paid version, they do give you a lot of uh, fonts inside of Cricut Design Space that you can use. Or you can go and you can um, download your own fonts to your computer that you can use um, at your leisure. So I personally, I cost effect uh, craft on a budget. So I download my own text because I do not have the Cricut Design Space uh, images. Now they do give you some free images, um, but I'm sorry, not images, tag. They do give you some free text, but if you see those A's there, those are Cricut paid fonts. You have to pay from CSS 499, 499, you know, you have to pay for those. But the ones that does, do not have the Cricut A are free text that they, or free fonts that they allow you to utilize. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick um, this Cooper Black. Like, it may take a moment to pull up. There we go. So as you can see, it changed the size of my customized juice. Now, of course, unless you're doing a project this large, you may not need that text to be that large. So it is off the screen, your buttons to where you see how you have your X and your lock, but your other two buttons are off screen and you can't see them. To me, I find it easier to go up to the size and change the size of it. So I'll go up here to the size width and I'm just going to type in five. That way it brings the text back down to where I'm able to use my uh, sizing icon. So we're gonna make it just a little bit bigger so we can see. 
Okay, so here we go. We have changed our font underneath our font tab. Next to our font tab is style. So a lot of the text will only have regular. Sometimes you might find a font that has some other um, some other tabs underneath the drop down that you're able to utilize. I find that the majority of them only have regular, so it's always on regular. Here is your font size. This allows you to make your letters larger or smaller, so we're gonna go ahead and make it larger. See how I made this the font larger? Or you can make it smaller. Now you could do it that way, of course, using the font, or you can just move the font this way. That util I mean sorry, that manipulates the font size as well, your your sizing icon. The letter spacing. Now a lot of the times when you go into the Cricut Design Space and you type something up, you normally don't mess with the letter spacing, but it is something that you um, have an option to use. The letter spacing brings your letters closer or farther apart. So we're going to hit letter spacing and you see how it's making it longer and putting more space in between each letter. So that's what your letter spacing does. When we started, it was on zero. So I'll just go ahead and put it back to zero. Or you can just go ahead and highlight it and hit zero. So there you go. You have it back to zero. Our next one is line spacing. Now, line spacing, what that does is if you have, um, I'll show you. We're going to double click into customize juice. We're going to go here and put the juice underneath. So we're going to hit enter. So now it's two, it's on two lines, two different lines. We'll hit customize juice and we'll go to line spacing. Now you see the line spacing is at one. You can go... You can go up and make the space in between the two letters larger, or you can go down and make the, si the space between the two lines smaller. And that's how you utilize the line spacing. Go put that, we're gonna double click back in here and we're going, um, I should leave it like this. Our next, our next line, our next line will be uh, alignment. So with alignment, how you do the, how do you utilize this? Is it it will line up your font or your word either to the left, center, or the right. So with the alignment left, it's already to the left hand side, so it won't change. You hit center. It's going to center your word to where they are above each other in a center position. The next one is right. So it will pull the customized juice to the right side of the word. So that is alignment. Okay, our next tab is advanced. Here in advanced, this is where you can um, do a lot of different things. So ungroup the letters, which means it'll allow you to ungroup all of these letters to make them individual letters. Ungroup lines will take customize juice and make it one line. I'm sorry, it'll take customize and make it one line and take juice and make it another. So let's hit ungroup letters. Now, as you can see, it took each and every letter and separated. Down your right hand side, you see each and every letter versus it just being the one word customized juice. It, it broke them all up individually. So we can hit our undo button. And now it's right back to the one word. Another way you can do the exact same thing is you can ungroup it. Because right now when you do a text, it's not welded together. You might have typed it as one word, but technically it's individual words in a group. So all you, you can also ungroup and it'll do the exact same thing. It'll make each individual letter separate. So of course we're gonna hit ungroup. I'm sorry, we're gonna hit undo and take it back to the original text. We're gonna highlight it and I'm gonna show you 
the ungroup lines. So we'll hit advance, go down to ungroup lines. Okay, so now you can see here it, it has two words now. So juice is a word by itself and customize is a word by itself. So now we can take customize and we can move it down beside juice. We can move juice over here, move it over here. We can do what we want because now that the image is by itself as one word, it can be, you know, changed around. So now that the, both words are separated, you are able to um, move them in a position that you want to put them. Oh, I, I do apologize. I did skip over curved. So curved, it allows you to add some bend to your word. Now this comes in handy like if you're doing cups or if you have a, a image, I'm sorry, if you have an item that you're putting the word on that has like a, a curve to it or just for just the designing purposes, period. If you want to change the shape of it, this was what you would use. So, so you will be able to change the diameter of the word by moving this toggle back and forth or you can type in, um, if you know the exact number you want to use, you can just type the number in. So I always use this toggle back and forth. So if you move it towards the box, it's going to curve the item down. If you move it towards the letter, it's going to curve it up. So this is where you would change the curvature of the word. So I'm going to go ahead and put it back to zero. Hit enter. And I'll take your word back to its original form. Alrighty, so those are all of the, the tabs that you can use with your text. Now, when I was saying how each individual word, it, it comes up by itself, let me show you. So, if, you, if we were to hit make it. Now, here at make it, oh, it actually did go ahead and put it as one word. Um, each word as itself. Normally, when you're doing, well, I find that when I do my projects, it breaks up each individual word or each individual letter. And it leaves it all jumbled on the mat. Now, just, I guess, because I said it was it was going to do that, I guess it wanted to make a liar out of me. Or maybe Cricut has updated the software to where it doesn't put it in smaller um, individual letters. But either way, I always suggest that you either attach well um, your letters before moving them over to your cut, cut mat. So we're going to cancel and go back. Um, so what I always do is once I get my uh, work, my text the way I want it, I always attach it. That way when it moves over to the, the mat, I don't have to worry about it coming in jumbled. It'll come in the way I want it to look. So you will highlight the text that you want to attach. And of course, you would just come down here and you would hit attach. Now, each, now all of these are together. Even though they were grouped together and it came over to the mat together, this is a sure way to make sure that it goes over as one word so you can attach it i guess you can also group it and it'll move over to the map but if you happen to move it to the mat and it's jumbled you want to come back to your screen to your canvas and attach your text um, of course you can change the color as well all you would do is hit uh, underneath operations you would hear hit your color box beside it um, my color is purple for everything so i'm just going to change that to purple and i'll change this one to blue so there you have it. So in in this case, if you have both of these words and you have you have each one has a different color, of course it's not going to go to the mat together. One the customizer is going to go to one mat, the juice is going to go to the other because it is two different colors. So keep that in mind as well when you're doing um, different colors for your text. If you want it to stay together, of course it would have to be the same exact color. So let me see. Uh, and that. Okay, so since we're talking about font, I am going to show you where I go to get all of my fonts that I like to download uh, to my Cricut Design Space. So we're going to go ahead and pull up our internet. We're going to open up a new tab, and then we're going to type in the fonts 
com, which is D A space F O N T. Enter. So defonts.com will come up underneath your Google. This is a, a site where you can download free uh, fonts and add them to your design space. Now, like with everything, you can um, you can uh, do a profile, but you don't technically have to. It's not a must um, to have a profile. You can just come in and download the fonts that you actually want to use. So we're just, for tutorial purposes, we're just going to pick this first one, make the best, and we're going to hit download. Okay, so once your item downloads here, you'll be able to upload it into your design space. So click. Now this is depending on if your computer is set up the way mine is. I, I can only show you how I would do it on my computer, but I'm pretty sure it's about the same for every computer. You want to open up the file. And it'll give you everything that was attached to that download. So it's the license request. Um, this is for personal use. And this is for a PNG file. So uh, if you click on the PNG file, double click, it'll show you what the actual image is that you downloaded. If you hit the personal use it'll show you how the text will come out when you when type using it at this screen what you want to do is install the font to your computer so here under print and install you want to hit install and what it's doing is installing the actual file to your computer once that's done you can click out of here of course, the license request, um, it gives you information on the text, how you can use it, how you can use it. Basically, it just gives you the, um, the written details. So we're going to go ahead and exit out of here. We're going to go back to Cricut Design Space. Now here, in order to bring, because you already started in your program, in order to add that font to your actual Cricut Design Space, you're going to have to refresh the page. Now, in the past, again, I'm not quite sure what Cricut has done to uh, change this, but I'm going to continue to move the way I always do, just to be on a safe side. You have to make sure that anything that you're working on is saved before you hit the refresh, because if you hit refresh, it's going to refresh the whole page, which means it's going to take away all the work that you did, and you're going to be starting over from a blank screen. So just for, I'm going to go ahead and hit save, and I'm just going to hit tutorial. I'm going to put tutorial in here. Um, I'm just going to put tutorial. I'm just going to put tech in there. Because I'm going to delete it later. Hit save. Now I'm going to go up here to the view. And you see re reload and force reload. I always hit force reload. That way it reloads the whole, basically the whole screen and everything. And gives me a chance to get any um fonts that i may have downloaded while i was working on a project into my design space so we're gonna hit force reload and now it comes back to our our screen that we were working on okay so now what you can do is click on your word customize juice and then you're going to want to change the font so you're going to go to font. It's first thing it's going to do is all. So it's giving you all of the fonts that are available to you right now, whether it's paid or um, downloaded, whatever the case may be, all the fonts that you can use will come up first. System are the fonts that you've personally downloaded yourself. Cricut would be all Cricut images so if you have Cricut Design Space it I have not had Cricut Design Space before it may give it to you free or you still might have to pay for it 
or you can you can pay for it at the time you want to use it you just hit the download and then of course you pay for it so we're going to go to system because we're going to look for the item that we just downloaded Okay, so let's take a look and see exactly what it was called versus us scrolling through. Okay, so it's called Make the Best. So we're going to go back to Cricut and we're going to type in Make the Best. And there we have it. There is the image or there is the text that we downloaded into our um, software. click that and there it is there is the text that we downloaded from the font let's go ahead and make it a five so we can see it and there is our word with our new font. As you can see over here to the right hand side, it tells you it's called Make the Best. Now, this was a perfect font to use so I can show you something else. So as you can see, let's change the color so you can see the, um, the difference in it. Now you see how it's cursive and you can see where it's cut off here and the line cut runs into the S and it, it's like a, like a sharp point, like the T is a full T and the M is a full M. You want to make sure your words look cohesive. You want to make sure it looks like it's actually written together and not just put together. So a way you can do that is by highlighting the word and then welding the word together. Now, once you weld the word together, it makes it one word and it makes it look like it flows together. Now, I will tell you this. Once you weld this, it will change the name. So you want to make sure if you need for, um, for like if you write down things and you want to make sure you remember what font you use, you want to write that down because once you hit weld, that's it. It will not go back to its original text. It'll be a welded result and you'll basically have to figure out down the line what font it was that you used. So I personally always write down every font that I use for each project. So if I need to remake it or want to use that same font again, I have um, a reference to what I use. So we're going to highlight the word customize and then we're going to hit weld. Now, as you can see, the full word is welded together. It flows together versus it being a little choppy or looking like one letter, one letter on top of another. So now customize is a complete word. I actually like that. I'm gonna have to change that up for my labels. So now, <clears throat> excuse me, I have showed you how to download the font. I'm sorry, download fonts from the font to your computer, how to bring them into your Cricut design space. I've showed you how to um, change your font size, your letter space, line space, alignment, how to curve it, advance, um, advance the letters. Now I will tell you once you hit, um, weld on this actual letter, it, on word, it will not allow you to curve it. So if you want to curve a letter, you want to make sure you do it before you hit weld because you're not able to bend or move it once it is weld. Now you can see down here where it says contour. Now that your images, now that your word is welded you can contour it if you contour it it'll bring up and show you what things inside of the words you can change so you it'll basically show you like the um, empty spaces in the word like the the dot and the s or the o like if you want to put some color in there you can do so but i normally don't contour my word i just change the color up here so um, we have talked text today. I hope that this has made, um, gave you some type of information on how to change your text. 
and I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please like, share, or subscribe to this channel. I would really appreciate it. I really enjoy these videos, and I need all the help I can get to grow to make my channel better. So again, if this helps you, please let your girl know by like, sharing, and subscribing. Um, so that's it, guys, for Let's Talk Text. Come back for our next episode. I haven't decided on what we're going to do just yet, but just make sure you tune in. I appreciate you so much for stopping into my YouTube channel and continuing to come back because this is already episode uh, 7. So if you've seen any of my previous episodes, I thank you so much and I hope you see the ones to come. So until next time, you guys stay good, stay beautiful, and stay blessed. Peace.